It's your girl Juma Kel Detala, aka Miss Gaganta. Yes, keep on watching this Nigeria. On the headlines, I am the solution to Nigeria's problem, Chris Okote declares. A lady recounts ordeal at Kubana Club shooting. Anthony Joshua to rematch Yusik August 20 in Saudi Arabia. Now the news and details. Reverend Chris Okotie, founder of the Household of God Church International Ministries, has called on presidential candidates for the 2023 election to step down and allow him to become interim president. The clergyman said on Sunday at his church auditorium in Oregon, Ikeja, while celebrating his 63rd birthday that he is the solution to Nigeria's problem. He said, I want to appeal to all presidential candidates to withdraw from the race and allow me to come in as an interim president. He said, I want to implore Ashiwa Jubola Tinumbu to support my government for the betterment of the country. And I also want to tell Peter Obi that the system that introduced him cannot take him anywhere because he cannot operate in the system we have now. All the presidential candidates should support me to succeed President Muhammad Buhari. A married woman identified simply as Brihela, whose husband was shot by Singa Bonaboy's police escort, has shared a side of the story. Breaking a silence in an Instagram post on Sunday, Brihela stated that she is still traumatized over the event and her husband and his best friend are still healing from the wounds inflicted on them. Brihela narrated how she was accosted three times by Bonaboy's men requesting her to meet him. She said, on their first attempt, I told him I wasn't interested in talking to Bonaboy and I am married to my partner. He came again the second and third time and I declined. She said this led to a fight between her friend and Bonaboy's team. However, it was briefly resolved by the security personnel at the club. Brihela said teens took a different turn when Bonaboy's escort started a fight again and started shooting. She alleged that Bonaboy gave the green light to security to start shooting at them in the club. She disclosed that her partner was shot in the head while his friend got shot in the leg. The woman also said it took the owner of the nightclub, Obi Kubana, four days to reach out to them after the shooting. The rematch between Alexandra Yusik and Anthony Joshua for the World Heavyweight title has been confirmed to hold on August 20 in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Yusik will be defending the International Boxing Federation, World Boxing Association and World Boxing Organization titles, a claim from Joshua after beating him in London in September last year. Joshua will fight in Saudi Arabia for the second time, having beaten Andy Ruiz Jr. in Kingdom in December 2019 to reclaim the same belt. The announcement of the rematch was made yesterday. Yusik has been in camp for the rematch since leaving the Ukrainian capital of Kiev in March. He had returned there in February to help defend his country from the invading Russians as part of the Kiev Territorial Defense Force. Yusik outclassed Joshua to win a unanimous decision at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Joshua, however, is looking to become world champion for the third time and has changed trainers ahead of the rematch.